whoa, 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 no, you don't, Trots. Fuck. Fuck out of here. What is going on YouTube Universe? This is Zira and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Still Wakes the Deep, a horror experience that is so immersive and enraptured by every single phobia you could think of that it has become instantly one of the best horror games I've played in a very long time. If you are new around here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Whatever the case may be, sit back, relax, it is game time. And if you are returning, we are picking up the action where we left off in the previous episode. And if you have missed any of those, there's a playlist linked in the description down below. You guys are welcome. We are underneath the rig. We have fallen from grace, quite literally, and I must warn you, before we continue, if you are susceptible to motion sickness, or you have any fears of deep bodies of water, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going at it. We're going at it right now, and it's forcing us to look, and the water is choppy as all fuck, and I don't even have a worry with motion sickness or a fear of deep bodies of water, and it's still preying on my fucking inner turmoil. I just love that this game has so brilliantly, that's not going to open is it, no, taken tension, fear, atmosphere and just ramped it up to a whole new level. It really has leaned into the fact that a scary game doesn't need monsters jumping out at you all the time, it doesn't need jump scares, the, the actual physical place that you are playing upon can be just as deadly, just as fearsome. We're going to try to make our way back up top. Given the scope of how the oil rig currently is physically as well, I would hazard to guess we actually aren't far off finishing the game. Which is going to be incredibly bittersweet because this has been easily one of the best horror games I've played in a very long time. It's definitely one of the best of 2024. Um, not just in the horror genre, but collectively as a video game. And I really am glad we took the time to play this because had we just skipped over it, we wouldn't have been able to witness the brilliance that this game has truly been. Oh shit! Gotta pay attention, otherwise we'll be falling to our death. What have we got here? Brody, if you read this, I'll meet you in engineering. I did my bit, your plan better work. Last chance, F. Is that Finlay? I have a feeling Finlay and Brody know more about this than what they're letting on because we've been finding little notes that have been left for one another that allude to the fact that this is a problem that they need to deal with. I don't know. Definitely feels like it runs a lot deeper. We didn't just stumble across whatever this fucking entity is that has taken over the rig. Welcome back to engineering, folks. Fucking hell. Another letter. Finlay, no way through. Engineering is full of oil. We can do this. I don't want to give up. We can get out. We lost Kaz, but we can sort this out. Don't do anything stupid, Brody. We lost Kaz? I'm right here. Sounds like something else might be fucking down here as well. For fuck's sake!
Finley. Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the fuck are you not dead? I thought I was. You fit to help? Christ, can anything help? Aye, if we can cut ourselves loose and quick like, we'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so aye, I should hope so. Finley, good, let's... Yeah, I thought... Aye, aye, he's a walking, greeting miracle. Are we doing this or no? Aye. We float to rig. I'll dive down, release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both for green control. It's Roy. Hello, can anyone hear me? I'm stuck up in here so fucking hot on the accommodation roof. I don't know how long I can last without insulin. He's up on the roof. I have to get him. No. Is anybody out there? You have to get to marine control with Finley. Please. It's a two-man job and we don't have much time. Like fuck. He does. I can't just leave him. I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place is filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. But I'm going. I have to. No man gets left behind. Fuck that. Flooded, so you'll have to swim. It's a long way. Plan each step. And if you're underwater, stay calm. Oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. Enough. Oh, yeah. You both know what you're doing. So let's go. There you are, Brody. Let's stay calm under the water when we have hellish creatures fucking pulling themselves around the place with every kind of tendril. Like fuck. Look, like these little ball bags around here. Okay, so we're gonna go save Roy. Oh my Jesus. Speaking of tendrils. No, no, of course not. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? Fucking hell! I wanted to lose my mind more in the moment, but I needed to keep calm. That, that's that's going to be the tale of the tape. We need to keep calm, apparently. Even though these swimming mechanics feel just a wee bit broken. There we go. Holy fuck! Thank you for holding on, you daft bastard. Then we're gonna have to climb. I'm gonna spider man the fuck out of this. Oh, yeah, fucking. Bastard thing. Oh, okay, so it turns out I was supposed to fall because the water was rising. I just thought I did something wrong and I was going to drown and have to pay for it, but turns out it's okay. That shit was supposed to happen. I'm not a dickhead. I was wondering why it wasn't letting me hold on, uh, holding the left trigger like it normally would. You're supposed to fall. What awaits us on the other side? I feel going to save Roy is going to be our undoing, but there's a 
definite bond between these two that leans into the, you know, the process of kinship, of brotherhood, of not leaving somebody behind. Warm our hands up a wee bit before we push on, apparently. Yeah, that's enough. Your hands are warm enough, idiot. Let's go. Enough waiting around. We haven't seen anything lurking quite yet. Oh fuck. Spoke too soon. Not that way. Not that way. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck, it's weird coming back through here, having not been here since the beginning, and just seeing how... Look at that, that's fucked. How everything's just been taken over. Can he crawl under that? Aha! Thank you, Kaz, for the added dialogue. I appreciate it. I'm giving your boy a hand. Oh, Jesus. Fucking poor bastard. And last time we were here, we saw somebody having a wash. It looks like, uh,. Yeah. Fuck. Oh! Hey. Sorry, man. Let's assume this is the correct way. I just hope that I'm fucking right. Whoa. Oh, fuck. He's still up here. Ah, ah. Oh, Jesus. No, no. Oh, fuck. I think that's the dickhead that was in the laundry in the beginning. Oh, Christ. Oh. What the hell? How did they get like that? Christ. The trots do this. Fuck me. Oh, fuck. I don't know if it's safe.
Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, you don't, Trots. Fuck. Fuck out of here. You ugly fuck. Don't you fucking McCleary me, mate. Fucking bastard. Beautiful. That's what you get, you silly fuck. We're gonna go save Roy. Fucking please. I got your insulin. Jesus, it's moving out of that place. Now fucking go the long way around. Nothing can ever be too easy, right? I must be out. Thank Christ. Roy! Roy. Roy. Talk to me, big man. Come on. Come on. Roy. Roy, wake up, you prick. Please wake up. Come on! No! Oh, you bastard. Don't leave me here. Please, big man, come on back. Christ, don't leave me. Roy, don't leave me. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. What am I going to tell Sears? Imagine. I mean, she's gonna fucking kill me, man. You know? With everything that's been going on on this rig, and he dies because he didn't get his insulin. She really loved you. So did my girls. I mean, what am I gonna tell them? <laughs> oh, sorry. Her uncle Roy's not coming home. I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? I love them. Fuck. Who's this? Friendly, Kaz. You got it to know he's good. Look, Kaz, the water's up to admin, so I couldn't get to marine control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and all. We can't stay in that hut forever, no. Kaz? Kaz, you still there? When you're not shouting, I start to worry, like. Is Roy making a fuss? Put him on. I'll get him, Tail. Guys, for fuck's sake, what's going on? No, he's not coming. 
You've been a tease. I let him do it. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You would buy for him. None of this is your fault. No, anyone. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good doing otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. Then you need to find a way across the deck. Get to marine control room. Call me when you get there. And I'll talk you through it. All right. 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 <clears throat> Let us push on then. To marine control. It just... That is a very very sad death in the way of as I pointed out the fact that with everything that's been going on in this game that it was something so real that killed Roy in a in a very fantastical setting if that makes sense you know all this supernatural stuff going on and it was it was harsh reality that killed him that's just hits harder Especially given the backstory with Roy and Kaz. This is swaying from side to side. Oh, you're going to make me walk on the outside of this thing? Oh, fuck. Hold on, Kaz. Did I miss something? What? I don't know what the fuck's in there, but I'm a little bit worried. Jesus. Ah! It's a fucking spaceship. I'm not touching anything Finley doesn't tell me to. Jesus, fuck. Rope. Holy shit, he's still alive. Nice and slow. That's all right. I just need to make a call. Yeah? Hi. Right. Here we go. Fucking hell. Finley. I'm at Marine Control. I'm there. Uh, I'm not alone. Fuck. Is it that bastard? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's Roper. He's all messed up. Kaz, listen to me. All right. Listen. All right. We need to keep it together. All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that. And then I'll talk you through the next part. All right? Ah, all right. All right. I'll look for it. It's going to be over here, isn't it? Why did I think it was going to be over there? Oh, there we go. Why is it locked? Fuck's sake. Old mate's gonna have the key. Ha! Oh! It's locked. Oh, shit. Aye, I'm a key. No good fucking news. Yeah, I had a feeling. Just gonna take it off your extra hand. Right. It's 
Let's turn this bastard on. Switch is it, manual. What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Now hold on a minute. To the brim? The are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he not down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all. Right? All right. It's coming for me. He keeps saying Rennick's coming. I'm fucking worried. Christ, it's way above my pay grade, this. We're going to flood the pontoons. Is it this one? Right. Back to Finley. Rennick's coming. He keeps fucking telling me. Alright, that's done. Now what? That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on, what? Let's move it. Did it work? I reckon it's fucking hopeless. Where's Rennick? What now? Brody's got a plan. Meet us and drill ops as soon as you can. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be alright, Cat. I fucking hope so. Oh, fuck. No! No! Is it you and your fucking Japanese tentacle porn? Oh! I'm trying to move as quick as I fucking can. Oh, fuck! Oh yeah, just run straight to him. You fucking Fucking let go of me, you big fuck. Oh, hopefully he drowns. Bucky, our final pit stop on the Hell Unleashed Finley. tour. Fuck. Finley? What's going on? Who are we talking to? Kaz, you made it. Brody, what's wrong with Finley? She's freaked out here. Listen, Kaz. There's no much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. Oh, I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? We're not I leaving. What? I can't get back up. Wait, no way. I'm sorry. Wait, let's... You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas... It, it's no possible. You got your dive gear? Aye, So you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I fucking see that. I knew the risk when I came down here. Fuck. <sighs> can he lose you as well? Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. <laughs> You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear. Peaceful. 
just let go and everything's Aye. fine. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. <laughs> All right. No, oh, fuck that. I'm never swimming again <laughs> after this. <laughs> Kaz, you and Finlay, you could do this. All right. I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Really? You there? Kaz? What's stupid? Talk to me. It's getting higher. What are you up here, Brody? I'm not going anywhere. All right, I'm here. Get him! Brody. Oh, fuck. Brody. Jesus. Make me... Make me tear up again, this bastard. This... This game is so emotionally charged. Especially this final set of sequences. I think it is leading to the end. What do we do now, Finley? It doesn't fucking matter. He's deep and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. Boy, them. Always. We see that. We have been fucking about with all Aki and pontoons. And we do a whole mail. Watch new pals turn into monsters. Never once, never fucking once, have we tried to do what needed to be done. Calm down, alright, what do you mean? I mean, I'm ending this. Fucking Finley, no, come back. Finley! She's so gonna blow the place sky high. Finley, wait, I'm, come back, you're not thinking straight. I think, I think she might be seeing the only way out of this is to blow the place sky high and to stop this from fucking escaping, running deeper than it needs to. She's fucking, she fucking locked me in here, the bitch. You can really feel the rigor of the the rig playing against you here. It feels near impossible fucking walking up. Jesus, Finley. Fucking hell. Guys, I'm here. Finley, I'm here. Guys. Who is it you hear? Ben. You must see me. Well, it's close. Who do I hear? Christmas card. You hear my wife? I just want to get back to her, Finlay. To my weeds. I hear my boy. When he was wee, you know. I hear him now. He's singing. I've almost seen him again. Cast. There's got to be a ship coming. You, you said it yourself. Christ, Cast. We don't want him coming. Oh, Jesus! Sorry, Finley, I don't know what we do. We've got to face it, cuz. What do you mean? Ah! We can't risk whatever this is getting off of the rig. But I can. There's no going to stop with us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. Once they're alive, be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. Save him. Jesus, Finlay. You want to leave it a chance? If it gets to the mainland. Oh, you know I'm right. My mum was fucking right. Oh, Christ. Christ. <laughs> All right. Back. Let's finish this.
I had a feeling this was going to be the way it ended. Kaz getting a hero moment. Because as Finlay just pointed out, we can't afford to have a ship rock up to save us and have whatever this thing is escape the rig and go to the mainland and take over the mainland. It needs to be destroyed now and that means we need to destroy it ourselves. doesn't make it any easier to deal with. But have a look at this. Christ. Had a chance. The production of this game is so incredibly fucking well done. I cannot understate that fact. Time to be a hero. Say that. It's been a long time though, Kaz. Hold up. Susan Lafferty. Fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> <laughs> Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> well, he looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCreary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut up, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that bomb pop? Were you not so bad yourself, all things considered? Marry me. What? I'm serious. Marry me. We make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> my dad's eyes. I'm sorry, Cass. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Master wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? He loved you in his way, Cass. I'll never leave you, Susan. I'll be at your side forever. Life is flashing right before his eyes. Be here for this wind. Kiss the wings for me. Tell him I'll be back for Christmas. It's the day he left. I'm sorry, Suze. And that'll probably be credits, I reckon. Hey, Kaz. 
I'm sorry it's been so hard. Just wanted to send you this. To say we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Just wanted to say that to you, Gaz. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. Yeah. My man. My love. What a game, man. That was brilliant. That was absolutely sensational. And I am so thankful I had so many people reach out and tell me to play this because had we had not, we would have missed out on what I feel has been one of the best definitive gaming experiences that 2024 has dished up so far. This deserves all recognition any awards that comes its way it thoroughly deserves to win there is just so much about it just not only the jump scares and like the gory hellish horror but as i mentioned in this episode the the actual location itself playing against you and having all these phobias thrown into the mix and fighting to survive the rigors of the place that you're currently in collapsing and falling apart combined with that hellish creature aspect it really just took horror to a whole new level and this was so so incredibly well done the characterization the story the atmosphere the sound design the the level design everything about this was superb and it ended with such an emotionally charged episode i didn't think during this playthrough we would end the final episode of the series with with tears like i have um at numerous times losing roy and then finlay dying and old mate drowning down in the bottom so well done if you haven't played this game for yourselves yet do yourselves a favor and check it out this this is absolutely sensational but that is it for this we leave it behind begrudgingly but we move on and hopefully find something that can match the crazy that this brought into the mix something that we can enjoy just as much as we have here and at the end of the day as long as you guys are coming to experience it with me i know we're going to have a fuckload of fun so i do hope you guys have enjoyed still wakes the deep if you have do me a favor and hit that like button down below as i said at the top of the video if you have missed any episodes along the way i urge you to go back and watch them with the playlist which is linked in the description of this video and hit that notification bell as well so whenever i do upload you guys get that ring-a-ding-ding -ding to let you know something new has gone down wow I'm going to have to take some time after this. That that was so good. It was so good. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.